ever pondered the intricate steps involved in the design-bid-build process of a construction project? Well, you're about to unravel the mystery. First, let's get a bird's eye view of the whole process. The design-bid-build process, also known as the traditional method, is a linear process that begins with the owner contracting an architect to design a project. Once the design is complete, contractors are invited to bid. The contractor with the most appealing bid is awarded the project and begins construction. Now let's dive deeper into the bidding procedures. This is where competitive bidding and value-based selection come into play. Competitive bidding involves contractors submitting their bids based on the project's specifications. The owner then chooses the contractor offering the best value. Value-based selection, on the other hand, considers not just the price, but also the contractor's qualifications, experience and ability to complete the project on time and within budget. This process requires meticulous pre-qualification of bidders. Pre-qualification is a screening process that ensures only capable and reliable contractors are invited to bid. It involves checking references, financial stability and previous work experience. Advertising for bids is the next step. This is basically a public announcement inviting contractors to submit their bids. It includes information about the project, bidding procedures and where to obtain bidding documents. Bidding documents provide detailed information about the project. They include the advertisement or invitation to bid, instructions to bidders, the bid form, and the proposed contract documents, including any addenda issued before receipt of bids. The term substitutions refers to proposing a change to the specified materials, processes, or even designs in the bidding documents. Addenda, on the other hand, are written or graphic instruments issued before the execution of the contract which modify or interpret the bidding documents. A pre-bid conference is often held to clarify any questions the bidders may have about the project. It also allows the owner and architect to gauge the interest of potential contractors. After bids are submitted, the bid opening takes place. This is where all bids are opened and read aloud, usually in a public setting to ensure transparency. Next comes the evaluation and awarding of the bid. This is where negotiation might come into play. Owners can negotiate terms with the lowest responsive, responsible bidder. In some cases, the owner may reject all bids and start the process over. Post-bid information includes performance and payment bonds. The performance bond protects the owner if the contractor fails to perform according to the contract. The payment bond guarantees that all subcontractors and suppliers will be paid. Bid security is a form of guarantee that the bidder will honor its bid and will sign all contract documents if awarded the contract. In conclusion, the design bid build process is a comprehensive linear method that requires careful planning, transparent bidding, and meticulous selection of the contractor. Remember, mastering this process is essential for your journey as an aspiring architect, and it's also crucial for your upcoming ARE exams. So keep learning, keep growing. Subscribe for more insights and knowledge about the architecture profession. Be sure to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Until next time, stay curious and keep building.